Hello everybody. This is going to be a review slash demo of my OEM tools one man brake bleeder kit. Uh, looks like part number is 25136. Now full disclosure I forgot to record an intro video so I've already finished with my product but I did film the project so I'll show you that now. Uh, it does come with a bunch of tubing probably too much which is good. A bunch of fittings that probably aren't going to fit your application. We have some lids here, some O-rings, and the top. So the theory is you connect the hose onto the uh, barb over to the lid here, which then connects to your catch basin, let's call it. And then another line will run over to your brake bleeder little valve. So you basically just pump it up, open your bleeder valve, air going to start flowing you'll see some bubbles close it check your gauge check your fluid in your master cylinder check to make sure this isn't full if that's all good you do it again open the valve and eventually you'll get you know clear solid fluid coming out of it so pretty pretty standard pretty straightforward first thing i noticed right off the bat was this o-ring is a little too large for this so you really got to force it in there that's kind of annoying. You see what I mean? Like you, you try to push it in and the other side pops out. The other thing is it's not truly an O-ring. It's more of a, it's more like flat stock because it's not, it's not round. I don't know how to describe it except in person anyway. It's basically a piece of flat rubber in a circle. When these break, I don't think you're going to be able to find some other ones. Maybe an O-ring will fit in there, but I doubt it because of how deep they made that chamber. So I think this will last as long as this O-ring does. The other problem is these fittings, when they go onto your, your uh, brake valve, your bleeder valve, they they fit kind of, if you, at least mine, mine didn't, but I mean, don't, don't knock me here, but I have this pair of spreading pliers. So what I did was I pushed this in there, spread it open, and pushed it over my bleeder real quick. And that worked fine. Uh, pump itself works quite, I mean, decently well. It holds a vacuum depending on if how well my thumb is sealed against the hose. Too bad to get it up. Alright, still worked fine. I think we're supposed to start over here in the furthest one away. So we'll see how this works. Let's hook it up. Start pumping. Hey, look at that. Look at it go. It's a proud moment right here. I should probably get that valve a little closer though. That is some nasty looking brake fluid. I got in there rust, dirt. Probably put a couple gallons through here, honestly. Well, so far this kit is working pretty well. Jeez. How long this would take with my neighbor? Actually, you wake my dad up having to help me, but still. A lot of bubbles in there. Well, there we go. It's doing something now. Let me go ahead and close this. That's probably what happened. Break drum thing. All right, container is emptied, mostly. Let's pump up the old vacuum. As I feel it going, looks good to me. And let's get the thingy here opened up. There we go. And fluid is flowing. Now I have a light uh, opening on it. I should go. I'm pretty sure I uh, sucked the fluid dry in my first attempt. So while this does whatever it's going to do, I'm going to go dump some more in there and make sure that doesn't happen again. This one-man brake 
leading kit really is still the two man because you almost need a guy up there to make sure the fluid's in but I could and probably will crack it closed here in a second and just go keep checking it that fluid's getting clear it's still bubbly and nasty okay I'm on the driver rear wheel now uh, pretty airy, dirty fluid, just like the other side, but I think we only got a few inches of line to go. The other side, you know, we had eight feet of line, and now we have, I don't know, 16 inches maybe, before the new fluid starts, so it shouldn't be as bad. Let's close it, if I can, and go check the fluid. Oh, this is fun. There's there's not much room there. Uh, the problem is my fitting won't fit, so I came up with a little solution. And for that, I just simply wedged the hose onto the fitting. Oh, that's gross. So I vaguely remember trying to bleed these brakes before, and I'm pretty sure I just did this wheel and then I gave up. So this one should be the easiest, and... That's a pretty solid looking little stream there. So I am going to call that good and go check the brakes. Check the pedal. Oh, that feels good. Previously, it would just hit the floor, and now there's, you feel like you might actually stop. It worked. I was able to bleed the brakes by myself. Um, some hiccups along the way. Not so much with the tool, but with the location of my bleeder valves, condition of my bleeder valves. Kind of everything you'd expect, I suppose. But the tool did its job. It gave you a vacuum so you could open it up. Now, there's not really that much to it. Really what you're buying is a hand-operated vacuum pump, hose accessories and fittings, and this little catch basin. So if you have a hand-operated vacuum pump, you could probably make one of these using a mason jar and some barb fittings, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is this isn't something you couldn't rig up on your own. Really, the key things that you can't really get are these fittings, which in my case I didn't really, couldn't use anyway. So am I happy with it? Yes, I, I was able to do the job. Would I recommend it? Yes. It does do a good job. There are a lot of times where I'm doing some project and I really want a hand-operated vacuum pump and I don't have one. Well, now I do. So I think I will use this on other things, not so much for bleeding brakes always. I think it'll get a lot of uses for other things. It actually worked a lot better than the videos online I watched beforehand, other guys using them. It kind of looked like it was a gimmick, but once you really start using it, it's really, it's really not that bad. It's better than the Harbor Freight one, no doubt about that. Looking at the quality of the videos on the other Harbor Freight ones, they look like junk. This, not so much. This is something I'm going to hang on to, probably take care of, and use it for other things. Yeah, I would uh, I would recommend it. Somebody's trying to do their brakes by themselves, or even not. It, this is easier than telling somebody, okay, pump, okay, let go, okay, pump, because it's just, this is better.